Holy cow, it's a giant. What is going on guys? Well, the shad bait is upon us. I'm gonna meet up with my good friend Charles from the river videos that you guys seen before. And we're gonna chase after some giant shad eaters today, hopefully. But we're gonna check out this little kayak shop. The kayak fever has hit me, man. I do want a kayak. Let me know down below. What is your favorite type of kayak and model? Let me know what should I get. So we're gonna check out this shop, then go hit the lake up with the homie Charles. Let's see what happens and unfold today. Catch you on the water. We made it guys, let's see what they got, man. Let's see what's inside. Well guys, I must say, man, I was thoroughly impressed with the shop, man. The owner was super nice. He actually went through, broke down every kayak they had and also told me about tournaments. So guys, that may be something I get into, doing some tournament fishing off kayaks. So when I actually go to purchase a kayak, that's gonna be the first part I checked out. So cool shop. Sorry I didn't do any filming, but we were totally like engulfed in the conversation. Well guys, let's get to the lake and do some fishing and we'll catch you soon. That it would be on? Yeah. But I guess that wind really affects I guess so too, man. It's so tricky to tell, man. Part of the puzzle figuring out. And tomorrow you'll come out and bust like 30 of them. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, I got one. Right. It's a decent fish, too. Awesome. Holy cow, it's a giant. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real big fish, man. I know. <laughs> I told you there he is. God. Yeah, because that's you was fishing slow, and I was like, I'm gonna throw the crankbait near the docks. God, when I went over that one last time, he went that way. He pried himself loose, man. And it was just sitting there. Damn it, man. Damn, how do you come on a crankbait? I don't know, man. That was, that was at least a six pounder, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, guys, do me a favor and break down exactly what you think happened. I have a few ideas in my head, but I'm not 100%. And guys, fighting a fish on a kayak with that paddle between your legs is no joke, man. Salute to all you guys who do it on a daily basis. That's kind of hard, man. Real talk. But let me know what you think happened. Got him. him. Uh-oh. Maybe they turn it on, man. He's going crazy, ain't he? We got a flurry going. The temperature dropped a whole lot from yesterday, so hopefully these fish are not in a funk. With that rain that came in last night, it's gonna make the water a little bit more muddy. Oh, give it a shot though. That's all you can do. Gotta hit it. Come back and hit it. How did he come off? I had a trailer hook on and everything. It's a good sign though. There's a guy on that side. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is a big fish for a bait. Oh, 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 yeah, like a bow fin, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. God, it's oh, man. Oh. 
good fish on the spinner bait. This dude is chunky and cold. Spinner bait is no joke this time of the day and time of year in windy conditions. So that's the Vantage Baits with the Shad Nasty trailer. Got that trailer hook on it. Save the day, guys. What a pretty little fish. Let's release her. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a super workout, man. I'm talking like paddling that 100-acre lake into the wind. It was no joke. And with fall fishing, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but the opportunity is always there to catch the fish of a lifetime. So, guys, if you like more content of me on the kayak, just let me know. Like I said, next year, I'm actually going to try to purchase a kayak so I can fish some of these untouched waters, get into some shallow waters, and everything like that. Well, guys, make sure, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Take care and tight lines.